Hey peeps, good morning. I hope you're all having a blessed, blessed day. Uh, on my way to the skin doctor, I guess they found a little something, something here in the crease of my nose. Sounds like they're gonna try to do a little operation on it today. Don't know what I'm gonna look like when I'm done here, so stay tuned. <laughs> Hey peeps! I love organizing my closet. <laughs> I think sometimes I come in here like two, three times a week just to organize, see what I need to do, see what I haven't done, make room for new stuff. Oh, by the way, <laughs> it's called pandemic shopping still. <laughs> Don't you love it, fam? I love pandemic shopping. <laughs> so, um, Couple little items came in while I was in Mexico. One item came in before I left for Mexico, but I didn't want to spoil the, the fun in the video, but look. Yes. yes, oh my God, it's so cute. Okay, so walk with me, walk with me. So, you know, we've been doing some collecting on the Dior. I've never really been a Dior fan that much, but I'm telling you right now, Dior is really hot. I think I'm getting ready to order the Dior luggage too. Oh! I know. I saw it and I'm like, ooh, yes. You know, I have Chanel luggage. You know, I have Louis Vuitton luggage. When I saw this Christian Dior luggage that matches this, mm, I said, mm, yeah, we might have to get that too. So anyways, we're going to add this little baby up here with this. That was my very first Christian Dior bag of that kind. I don't know what possessed me to get that color, but I, I don't I don't know. I just wanted a, that color for some reason. But then you know blue is my favorite color. So then I started going hog heaven into all of this blue, which I think the luggage is gonna be blue too. <laughs> you know, I had to get the black one. I had to get this little gray one. And so now I'm like, hmm, maybe I need to make this the Christian Dior corner. It's starting to turn into one. <laughs> So, yeah, but this, I had to get this. How incredible cute is this? I love it. it it's so just tiny. It's so tiny. It's perfect for just throw your phone in, a couple credit cards, some cash, go. Lipstick, right? It's a perfect size. Then, you know, I love me some Chanel. Look at this. Oh. Yes. I had to die. get it. Had to get it. I had to get it. And don't you love how it just, just folds over. Wow. Just so perfectly, so that it looks just hot as hell. Look at that. Yes, yes, yes. Stunning. Isn't it cute? Cute little bucket. Like, oh my God. I love it. It's the perfect size. Not too big, not too little. You know, this is, this is micro little. This is a good size. You can stick a few extra things in there. <laughs> Love it. Wow, oh you gonna God. have room up there? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm like, good God, now I gotta make more room. Or maybe it's gonna go up here in the special little window area, you know? Yes, but look what came in before the trip to Mexico. Mm. No, mm. you mm. didn't. Yes, I did. It is so cute. Wow, this pandemic's really done something to you, huh? <laughs> you know, I haven't gotten a new Hermes for a long time. Have I? Yeah, no, literally. No, literally. Like, I have not gotten a new Hermes for, I don't know, a year or two, maybe. Yeah. Like, my collection's been pretty complete. I think I think the last two new Hermes were the my two little babies, you know? Mm -hmm. And I think that was a year or two ago. Otherwise, I haven't really ventured out and gotten any more new Hermes. Like, I've just been satisfied. But when I saw this one, I was like, oh, this this one's unique. Look at that croc. Oh my God. Like, uh, I don't even have the, I don't even have the little hangy down thing put on it yet. It's in here. Um, I mean, I just got it. I just unboxed it. But like, oh, uh, in love, in wow. love, in love. So soft, oh my God. So soft. I don't know if you're gonna have room there either. 
You just gotta move stuff around. <laughs> yes, we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. So yeah. So you know, my theory is is even during a pandemic, you still have to support everyone. <laughs> everyone. So, anyways, let's get upstairs and talk about some stuff. So guys, we're upstairs. <laughs> You're like, what the hell is this? What happened? So. Three months ago, when I went to my skin check, they didn't tell me I had skin cancer like what I had here, but she said you have basal cell, whatever it's called, right there in the crease of your little nose and it needs to be removed before it turns into big time skin cancer. So I said, well, what's that gonna entail? Well, no, I didn't. So I made the appointment, I went to my appointment, they numbed me up. And then she said, oh, and by the way, oh, and I told her, oh, I said, is, you know, what, you can put a stitch or two in there and then I'll be back to normal. I gotta, I gotta film it. She's like, oh no, honey, no, we're gonna take some. And if it, we don't get it all, we'll take some more. And then we're gonna have to do some skin graft from the skin from behind your ear and skin graft it. So you're looking at a good couple weeks downtime. And this is how I was gonna be bandaged up. And I'm like, oh no. <laughs> so I left there that day, rescheduled it, because I was like, I'm too busy filming, you know? I had Josetti flying in. I mean, like, I rescheduled this surgery three times because I was told I would look like this. I would be bruised. I would have to wear a bandage on my nose for weeks. So I finally went in yesterday and had it done. And thank God I manifested it into the universe and I prayed to God, and when she took the first sliver out, now you gotta remember, they did a biopsy, which took a big chunk of it out, but when they got done with the piece that she did yesterday, literally, hey peeps, so yes, I get to sport a bandage on my face now, but the good thing is, is they got all the little bit of skin cancer that was in there, um, and good news is I didn't have to have skin grafting done, so I just have to wear this stupid bandage on my face. But the great thing is, is we have face masks, right? So I guess as long as I have a face mask on, nobody can see the bandage on my nose. This is how I look. Now, mind you, if you zoom in, and I don't know, because I've got quite a bit of Vaseline on it, but if you zoom in, you'll see a little hole in my nose. So, thank God, whatever she got yesterday, got the rest of it. So she said the biopsy took most of it, and then she got the remainder of it. And I said, well, why the hell did you scare me so bad? And she goes, well, I like to tell my people to expect the worst, so that you know full willingly when you come in, what you could be walking out looking like. Or, you're gonna be pleasantly surprised when you walk out looking better. <laughs> So I manifest. So after she took the piece out, I sat there and I manifested it into the universe, and I prayed to God, and I said, you know, look, you know, just it just we got it in time. <laughs> We're good. And she came back in. She said, you are so blessed. She said the biopsy took most of it. I got the rest of it. I don't have to go any deeper. We're not going to have to skin graft. She said, I want you to walk out of here with a bandage on it today and then starting tomorrow wash it with uh, hydrogen peroxide three times a day to keep it an open sore because we need it to heal from the inside out so that it'll push the skin up so i don't have a divot left so i don't have to have any plastic surgery or anything so yay yay <laughs> yeah. good things good things so blessed we are all i have to do is and and literally when i stick a bunch of Vaseline on it, it's like not even noticeable. Literally. Yeah, so we're blessed. I go back in two weeks to make sure it's plumped up enough so I don't have a divot in my nose, so yay, yay, yay. So, with that said, hopefully, hopefully we didn't scare you guys too bad. I was scared yesterday though. When I went in, I was like, oh my God, like I'm not gonna be able to film for two weeks. I'm gonna have this big old bandage on my nose. This is horrible, but it turned out good. So positive thoughts. On that note, we're doing a giveaway. Woo what kind of giveaway? Oh my gosh. Well, we have a new little toy. Fab talked me. Don't you like this Dior scarf? Fabulous. You know, I'm really like 
I'm going through a Dior moment right now. Like, I'm, I'm, I think Dior's on fire right now. They are completely like, on I mean, fire like, right now. I mean, like, it's just not me. I think Dior itself is on fire right now because they're, they're really hot right now. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you just saw downstairs, I got another little Dior and then I'm ordering the Dior luggage and I'm just oh, like- Oh, so you are. <laughs> <laughs> Earlier you said maybe. <laughs> yeah, I just decided, you know, I took a car ride, said what the hell. <laughs> we should be here next week. I know, uh, you know me. <laughs> so, um, yes, I'm, I'm saying I need to get that Dior luggage. Yes, yes, yes. But anyways, we got this new little toy. Fab said we had to have it, so of course, the minute Fab said we had to have it, I ordered it. <laughs> Came in the next day. <laughs> so this is our new way of doing a giveaway. It, it'll always change. It's, it will never stay the same. So anyways, what do you see on there? Like, there's like a $100 giveaway. There's TR Beauty, which is the new skincare line we keep Ooh. talking about. You know, it debuts on Monday. What? Orders are ready on Monday. Oh my God. I know. I know. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. We're so excited. So we're going to talk a little bit more about that. But anyway, uh, TR Beauty, you'll be, you'll be able to win one piece of the skincare line. Uh, coaching call it is not a normal 30 minute coaching call, but it's like a 15 minute coaching call. Um, a sorry, meaning <laughs> so sad you didn't win anything. <laughs> The mystery beauty box giveaway that we always love doing. Um, oh, the hundred dollars. So there you go. So we thought this would be a cute, cute way to do the giveaways. Mm -hmm. Kind of like Wheel of Fortune, right? Yes. This is the Teresa Rumor Wheel of Fortune. Mm -hmm. Did I do it fast enough? TR Beauty. There we go. We've got the three products. One is the face wash. One is the firm serum. And one is the Restore Lotion, you know, face lotion. So we have a bundle that's available and we have all three products that are available. When we give away here, you're only gonna get one product. So uh, when we decide who the winner is, we're gonna reach out to you and let you pick whether you want the firm or the wash or the Restore. It'll be your choice, it'll be your choice. So, so in order to be eligible for this giveaway, Fab, what do you want it to be? They must like this video. Like this video. Make sure they're subscribed. Make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel. And if you're available to get on Instagram, get over there and become a subscriber or a follower on Instagram. Yes. Follow you at Teresa Romer. Follow me at Teresa Romer. And also follow the new Instagram page. Ooh, we have a new Instagram page for the TR Beauty. Yes. It's called TR Beauty by Teresa Romer. Yep, it'll be linked in the description bar. So run over there and start following us on that Instagram page also because we're gonna always be putting up the beauty products and all that kind of stuff. And you're gonna make sure you're gonna want to watch Monday night's video because Monday night is when we launch the TR Beauty YouTube video and start taking orders and everything. Oh my God. Can you believe it, fam? I can't believe it. This has been a year and a half, two years working on this. So long. Seriously. But yeah, yeah last year, you know, and, and, and it's funny because when I do my coaching calls too, people are just all negative and they're all, and I'm like, gosh, come on, you guys, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta look at the bright side of things. Like, look what we worked on last year, Fab. Mm -hmm. Look what we worked on. We worked on so many things in 2020. So even though bad things were happening, we worked on so many amazing things. Absolutely. Look at that amazing gig you got last mm -hmm. year too, you know, and hopefully you got another one coming up, mm -hmm. you know? I mean, but just, you know, that's just it guys. You could always sit around and look at the negatives of what's happening and what's going on. Or you can say, okay, this is what's going on. I can't change it. So why don't I do this? You know, I did, I did a coaching call the other day with a guy that wants to change careers. I'm like, go for it. Now, and it's in real estate. Hello. Hello. Real estate's on fire right now because everybody's moving out of the cities to the country. Everybody's getting out of the cities and they're going to the suburbs or they're going to the country. So real estate is selling, like even in my neighborhood, stuff's being bought up right and left. People are getting out of the city. They're tired of the riots. They're tired of all the gang shit. They're, you know, they're just tired of it. And they're wanting to get out and have some space and get away from the chaos. And so... 2020, we made some stuff happen. Mm -hmm. And it's all coming out. And now it's all coming out. And guess what else we're gonna do in 2021? 
There's a lot. I don't know what you. Need. I don't know what you, need, you want me to spell. <laughs> I'm like, hold on, I sent a couple of papers. I don't know what you can say. <laughs> All I know, guys, is we've been working on a lot of stuff, and we're making a lot of stuff come to fruition in 2021. You'll see in Monday's video. It's it's freaking amazing. We're, we're probably gonna start doing some teasers on Instagram mm -hmm. on the stories too, right? Mm -hmm. Let's leave some blue hearts. Yes. Because we're on blue here. So let's leave some blue hearts. Make sure you get over, and we're gonna put the link below so you can fi find it. But get over there and find me at TR Beauty by Teresa Romer on Instagram and start following that page because um, you're gonna want to stay up on all of that. And I think ne I think next oh. week, I think next week or somewhere close to Valentine's Day, we're gonna do another giveaway. Yeah. Uh, and for sure, it's gonna be a beauty box because we have all kinds of Valentine stuff to do for a beauty box giveaway um, closer to Valentine's Day. I'm just shaking inside. I'm so excited. I know. I'm, I'm so excited. For the day. I'm, I'm just so excited for Monday to come because I'm just like, ah, I've been waiting for this day for so long. And we're going to have my new autobiography come out this year. Wow, oh, you're just dropping everything in this video, huh? <laughs> we're working on that one right now. So it's going to be amazing too, guys. That's going to drop this year too. So I, I'm just a busy worker bee. Like, yes. no time to waste right now. So. Make sure you follow us and do everything you're supposed to do for the giveaway for the uh, TR Beauty um, product that you're going to win. And um, anything else you want to throw in there, Fab? Nope. Everything will be in the description bar. Make sure you guys check it out. Check out this hole right here. This, this thing is going <laughs> to heal amazingly. I'm telling you what. I No, my healing, I heal so good. I'll bet you in two weeks when we do a close-up of this, you're, you're going to go, where? what did you have done? And I'll have that new piece of luggage to show you. <laughs> Get out there and have a blessed weekend. Live your life to the fullest. And uh, until next time, bye-bye.